Greetings YouTube. Today I'm going to take a look at the CK Dragon from CRKT, the Columbia River Knife and Tool Company, product code uh, 2010N. The C stands for Crawford, the K stands for Casper, the people that designed and made this. Now, this particular uh, knife is made purely for combat and nothing else. It comes in a, a sheath. I actually don't know if this is Kydex or something similar to Kydex. Um, it is a fairly stiff sheath. It's a sub hilt worn cliff design with this very significant uh, finger groove. It's like a very aggressive finger groove. And this is very relieved, relieved, I should say. And this is designed to be used in a hammer grip. That is how the knife is intended to be used. This is pure combat. It is for slashing and for thrusting. That's it. Now, I purchased it because I thought it was a very nice design. I'm in love with the Warncliffe knife um, shape. The blade shape just, I think it's one of the most beautiful shapes there is. And I consider it to be um, very utilitarian. However, this is not designed to be utilitarian. Um, we have um, scales, which I'm honestly not sure what they're made of. They don't feel like G10. They feel like they may be glass filled um, nylon. Uh, there's a lanyard hold here, which would be quite useful. And when you're taking it out of the sheath, as you saw me just do, it's quite safe to put three fingers here and then to ramp it off with both fingers here because this finger is going to fall into that finger groove. So when you do that, so there's no, you're not going to be anywhere near that that blade when you do that. So you're you're quite safe to do that. There's jimping here, and some of the jimping, like from here up, is useful and quite comfortable. It's not overly aggressive, but the jimping down here. That is absolutely meaningless. I don't know why they have that there. I really don't. Um, I suppose if you really wanted to, you could also do butt strikes with this because this is um, sticks out quite far. And the edge, while not sharp, would definitely do some damage to a human skull. Now, this blade is 130 thousandths of an inch thick. Um, I think it's a little on the thin side because if you look at this, that's very thin. And it comes to a very severe point. And I think that you're looking at um, a breakage issue. I think it would have been better off if they'd taken this up 50,000 and made it to something in like in the 180 range. I think that would have been a better choice because, and I'm going to be gruesome here, when you're doing thrust with this, I think you stand a very good chance of snapping this tip off on a rib or a breastbone. And once that happens, subsequent um, pierces are going to be much more difficult to achieve unless you get lucky and go through the same wound channel. Yes. It is gruesome, but this knife is designed for killing and nothing else. I wanted it in my collection because I thought it was very cool. And frankly, I got it for a great price. Um, it comes with two attachments. I'm not really sure why I have two of these. They appear to be absolutely identical, um, but I've got two of them. And they're designed to go on to the, uh, on the sheath and allow you options for, I believe, vertical or horizontal carry. I have not tried them. Obviously, they're still in their little plastic baggies because I never have any intention to ever carrying this anywhere. Um, I just think it's really, really nice. It's got a nice finish on the blade, that kind of stonewashed look, which is really quite comfortable. Um, it's got the CRKT logo there. And on this side, it says um, CK Dragon. Yep. Um, Crawford um, Casper Design. And it is... In all honesty, deadly is all get out. It just looks dangerous. Uh, it has a very cool factor in that regard. It does not look like a tool, really. It looks like a weapon, which is, is what it is. Like, this, this is not a situation where you have a knife that is a tool that can be used as a weapon. This is a knife that was designed to be used as a weapon, which could potentially have some utility. Now, the reason I love the Warncliffe blades that are a little thicker and not designed to be specifically weapons is that because it's flat, I feel that you get more engagement when you're doing cutting because if you put the pressure here then you do a draw cut in, at no point do you lose engagement like you would on a spear point or a drop point because the blade moves away from you. So you get only the maximum cut in the belly and then as you get towards the tip you lose that because the blade is sweeping away. Whereas in this, you don't. Now I think they could have again made this a little thicker. 
And I think they could have done something else with it. Would you give me one second? And we'll tell you what I think they could have done with it. This is another, this is a, um, a Smith & Wesson um, HRT. And if you notice, this is a thicker blade, but this is less pointed, has a nice swedge in here, but it's much more rigid. It's a little thick, it's thicker. And I think it is more durable design. And I think you could have achieved something like this with the um, with the dragon here and increased its durability and reduced its chance of breaking off the tip without greatly reducing the, uh, the penetration. But that's just my opinion. I am not a knife designer. That's just my thoughts on the subject. Having some experience using knives and tools and some understanding of metallurgy, but I am not a professional. So all in all, um, this is, uh, I, believe, I believe I might have got this from the Knife Center. They were having a sale on some CRKT blades. I picked up two, the, and there will be another review in the near future after I try out the blade um, for a week or so. But I thought you might want to take a, take a look at this, and it, it is it is just a really wonderfully sexy knife. Um, very dangerous, and uh, definitely nothing but a killer.